innovation and insurance. Do they have more in common than just the first letter? About this topic, I talked with nobody less than the marketing legend Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk is not only one of my personal heroes, but he has built several businesses from the ground up and he shares on his social media profiles and in his keynotes around the world all his secrets. So the Gary Vaynerchuk empire is a BS free zone. And for that reason, I believe a lot of professionals in the insurance and finance industry will find a lot of value in consuming the content of Gary Vaynerchuk. In this video, Gary gives his two cents on certain arguments we hear a lot when trying to innovate the insurance industry from the inside, especially about the complexity of products and regulation. And he also shared his view if people are going to buy insurance products in the future. Hey guys, I'm here in London with nobody less than Gary Vaynerchuk. Thank you, thank you very much for your time. Of course. Um, after working years in the insurance and finance industry, I founded Digital Scouting as a content platform for uh, insurance and finance professionals as a hobby, side hustle. Um, but it blew up a few months after I started in 2018, it blew up with also significant revenue. Um, and for this conservative topic, I use social media a lot and try to be also funny, as funny as a German can be. And <laughs> well, and, and this led to keynotes around the world, um, to, uh, to posts that got a lot of views. I quit my corporate job, I loved. Um, digital scouting is now 20 people and we um, consult insurers and banks and helping them building digital products and services they like. So app, because we have people in our team that build apps in other industries that really resonated. We help them with market entry because I have like a decade of networking behind me and um, so I can make intros to people and bring them together. And last but not least, uh, I call it attention hacking what we do because all the things when we started digital scouting, it was uh, surely a lot by accident. We, could, we only could do the stuff that was efficient and cheap and all our learnings and methods we are sharing now with our clients, calling it attention hacking. Last but not least, Bitkom, the Germany's uh, association for uh, digital industry, called us one of the hottest consulting companies in finance and insurance in, in Central Europe. And well, it was quite the right the last few years. And it's also your fault. Well, that makes me happy. Yeah. Is it actually broken your foot? Or is yeah, it? a small break ah. and severe sprains. So. Yeah. Happens. Yeah, but what you guys need to know, so we're doing here a uh, meeting, uh, even though he um, uh, has a broken foot, <laughs> but I, who would I be if I would not come with something? I know you're still not having a favorite soccer team in, right. in, in, in Europe yet, yeah. and you're a fan of underpriced attention. I mean, I, I think you invented this scientific term. Thank you. And I know a club uh, who uh, is, was once uh, dominating Europe, um, winning the Champions League against Real Madrid in 1980. And since like a few decades of decay and mismanagement, after 99 years belonging to the highest class in soccer in Germany, we were relegated Hamburg Sports Club. Yeah, and I know you want to buy the Jets, okay? Yes. Yeah, but maybe you need a step stone or people <laughs> try out. So I brought you actually something. I, love it. I brought you something. Um, it's a jersey, Hamburg Sports Club jersey. I love like it. Like this, but also the back. The back I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I, I found out that five said Five is right. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to wear it. My, my question concerning the insurance industry. Yes. We have the situation of traditional companies with a lot of cash left and with a lot of customers, but there has to be problems. Um, when I talk to them, a lot of times um, they say there are certain arguments coming. They say, okay, Robin, I understand the book industry, retail industry, entertainment, movie theaters, they have some problems, but not us. Why? Um, our com uh, products are too complicated, our customers actually don't want it, we are regulated. This actually does not apply truly for us. Um, That's ludicrous. But what would, you, what, would we, what would you argue? What would you say? You know, one thing that's interesting about me when I think about, I assume we're talking about digital, social, proper marketing in 2019. Is yeah. That yeah, 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 of course. The biggest thing I think about is, I love when people say, well, we don't need this because we're either A, doing well, yeah. or we're regulated. Doing well was the first thing they always say. <laughs> I'm like, I love, somebody said to me the other day, they're like, Gary, we don't need this, we're up 31%. And I said, what's wrong with 64%? Yeah. You know, like it's very funny to me 
Re regulation is opportunity. The reason that you've been able to be successful is, I grew up in regulation. I grew up in the wine and yeah. liquor business yeah. in America, which is a, a country that had prohibition. There's 50 different laws yeah. in America, 50 different states. We've had Chase's client, we've done stuff with MetLife insurance, we've done stuff with alcohol, you know, cannabis. Regulation is the last excuse. Regulation yeah. is the opportunity. Yeah. And especially uh, since the regulators and insurance other industries say we are not there to save the incumbents. So <laughs> that's exactly yeah, right. Yeah. I, look, I, I think anytime you're big and fat and yeah. healthy, you're vulnerable. Yeah, exactly. And so I think that the thought that customers don't want good information or entertainment is laughable. Yeah. Also, would you this say also this as an as a product you cannot smell right or take for a drive like an insurance? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that's an interesting point. Here's my point. I think that's an argument that doesn't matter. Here's why. People are gonna buy insurance. Yeah. I assume the people on the other side of this camera would prefer that they would buy the insurance from them. Yeah. So whether people, they're not gonna celebrate insurance, they don't celebrate when they have a cavity and they go get a root canal. Yeah. People also don't, people don't celebrate most things. You know, people buy $8,000 handbags and actually don't celebrate them. People take $4,000 first class flights and don't celebrate yeah. them. People don't celebrate 99% of things they buy. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for our newsletter so we can give you all the hottest, newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.